turn in your books to page 119. And we're going to learn about the Plymouth Colony and the Massachusetts Bay Colony. So as we talked about before, one of the main goals uh, or reasons why people came to the Americas was to find religious freedom. And these are two groups who that was their primary goal of coming. So as you remember, Jamestown, their goal was finding gold and the Plymouth Colony and Massachusetts Bay Colony. Their um, reason was for religious freedom. Speaking of which, the search for religious freedom. In 1600, everyone in England belonged to the Church of England. It was the law. But some people disagreed with the Church of England's beliefs and practices. One such group was the Pilgrims. You've probably heard this term before. The Pilgrims were unhappy with the Church of England and believed that it had many problems. So this is about Pilgrims. The Pilgrims were separatists. That means that they wanted to separate from the Church of England. In England, pilgrims were punished and mis mistreated for their beliefs. So they were persecuted for their beliefs. Let's go ahead and write that word. They were persecuted for their beliefs. To escape this persecution, the pilgrims decided to leave their homes in England. So the pilgrims hoped to find, you guessed it, religious freedom in the new world. Now that they made that decision, they needed to sail to North America. So the pilgrims made plans to start a new colony in North America. They got permission from the Virginia Company to settle in Virginia near the Jamestown Colony. In 1620, the pilgrims set sail aboard two ships, a larger ship called the Mayflower and a smaller ship called the Speedwell. Only about 40 of the passengers were pilgrims. The other people were looking to earn their fortunes in the new world. The pilgrims called them the strangers. So as we know, some people came for profit, but the pilgrims came for religious freedom. The speedwell immediately began to leak, so both ships returned to port. All 102 passengers squeezed into the Mayflower with their belongings and set sail again. A powerful storm blew the ship off course, and as a result, the Mayflower landed in present-day Massachusetts, which is well north of Virginia. The Pilgrims settled in a harbor along Cape Cod Bay, and the Pilgrims named their col colony Plymouth after a town in England. So right here you can see the Mayflower. They all had to fit in there. And here's a fascinating fact. We men and women of all ages and children sailed aboard the Mayflower. The oldest person on board was 63, while the youngest was just one year old. Let's flip on over to page 120 and learn about the other people who came for religious freedom. This is the Massachusetts Bay Colony and the search for religious freedom. So just like the Pilgrims, the Puritans, they're another group, disagreed with the Church of England's beliefs. They too wanted to start a colony in North America. The Puritans. So look at this box. The Puritans were reformers. They wanted to reform the Church of England, not separate from it. So that's something that's different from the Pilgrims. They just wanted to reform, which means uh, basically to change in a good way. You can see it says to improve by removing faults or problems. So in England, just like the um, Pilgrims, the Puritans were punished and mistreated for their beliefs. And to escape this persecution, the Puritans decided to leave their homes in England. This is sounding very familiar. Puritans also hoped to find religious freedom in the New World. The Puritans set sail from England in 1630 under the leadership of John Winthrop. They numbered 700 colonists on board 11 ships. The Puritans arrived in what is now the town of Salem, Massachusetts, but they soon moved south and founded the town of Boston. The Puritans named their colony the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Now let's look down at the bottom. City upon a hill. The Puritans did not seek riches or profit. Remember, they wanted to um, have religious freedom. Their goal was to build a religious community. 
Their plan was to make their community strong in faith so that it could serve as an example for others. In this way, they hoped to reform the Church of England rather than separate from it. They just wanted to make it better. John Winthrop described the ideals and plans to keep the colony strong in faith, as well as the struggles they would have to overcome in a sermon. In it, he used the phrase city upon a hill to remind the colonists of the high ideals they must strive to live by and that people and God were watching. So as you can see from this um, nonfiction text feature right here, we have um, a picture of John Winthrop and he is saying a quote, we shall be as a city upon a hill the eyes of all people are upon us. If we look at our fascinating fact down here, it says from 1629 to 1643, approximately 21,000 Puritans immigrated to New England in what is known as the Great Migration. Immigrants were mostly families. They were a mix of all different ages and half the colonists were women. Now, as you were reading that, hopefully you were filling this out like your instructions said. But if not, I want you to fill out the Plymouth Colony and the Massachusetts Bay Colony, just like what we read. Um, you should be able to fill out every single part of it except this last one, which you will fill out on PLP.